everybody. So it's 10 to 6. I've just got up. I've lit the fire. Just making the coffee now. Good morning. Welcome to Narrowboat Hot Stroke Bell. It's a tough task of trying to get shallow. Even trying to wake Looney up was pretty difficult. You getting up? Hmm? You getting up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, are you getting up? Am I getting up? Yeah. Why? No, for coffee. Yeah, of course I am. I'm just waking up. Are you getting in now? Yeah. 84. 26. Good morning, Mark. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. So, back from the walk. Pardon? Back from the walk. Shell's got a call. Yep. Which is why she's doing her hair and everything. <laughs> and what else is happening today, Shell? Um, I mean, you're working from home, aren't you? I'm working. Uh, later on we need to sort out our plant monitoring scheme this evening, yeah. plan our first recce, uh, I need to buy new running trainers, yeah that's about it really. And I've got to do a shopping list. you got to do a shopping list. So basically you're working and I'm training. Yeah. Cool. Carry on as you were. Thank you. So we're still obviously in winter time and that means that, let me just put you down for a minute, um, and that means we aren't getting loads of power through the uh, solar panels. It'll be alright today because it's a lovely sunny day as you've seen from the walk. But to top things up, uh, first thing in the morning we do run the engine, probably for an hour, two hours. Um, yeah. So I put things on charge, everything that we have that is rechargeable, I try and be mindful of running the engine to charge everything. That's nice. Yeah, so I'll probably yeah it's coffee and then training for me and work for Shell. It's going to be a good day. I can feel it. I can feel it's going to be a good day. Um, so we're going to go outside now. So we've got a few chores to do. I've got two growing beds. I used to have one big one, but I've raised um, a third of it. So in that third, I'm hoping to grow um, some climbing, like squashes, tomatoes and things on the back, and then wildflowers, cut flowers in the front. The second bed, and um, the lower one, again, I'm gonna grow um, climbers at the back but the front of it um, will be wildflowers, but also I'm going to make a mushroom bed. We're going to use uh, wine cap mushrooms, also known as uh, the garden giants. Um, but we're just going to prepare that today. So we've got loads of cardboard and loads of straw. So I'm just going to do that today, get that done. Um, I've also got some extra compost to top up the raised bed, so we'll put that in today. 
And yeah, then we're going to fill in the gaps, the internal gaps on the new shed. Which I haven't shown yet really, have I? But I'll um, finish making my coffee and then we'll go see the new shed. Which is very exciting. <laughs> now where did I put me up? So I'm just going to ignore that and do other stuff outside. And then we'll come in and we'll do boat tidy. But first I've just got to go on the gunnel and unblock the sink. It just keeps happening. Don't know why. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, just for a start that, um, we had Storm Jocelyn yesterday, so touch wood, we've had two, probably two or three really bad windy days, like proper storm days, um, that's why the canoe's over there, so I'm just going to move everything back so we can crack on, but touch wood, I think we survived unscathed. Well, the wind's got up and I've just got to do a few bits and then I'm going to show you the new shed, which is pretty amazing. By the way, these aren't all lucky guesses. I am... Um, pre-mounted everything yesterday and then I've just thrown this layer of white paint on as a bit of extra um, protection and I've sealed out most of the gaps so I'm not I'm not just like lucky guessing it <laughs> so this is gonna be bike storage um, well basically the bike shed so helmets shoes everything is gonna go in here um, and that's come about because just a little life update so mum has uh, gone in her home now and I cannot be more thankful for how well she's doing so she's totally accepted it um, and there's no separation anxiety there's no like wanting to go with us when we leave it's just been, it's just been perfect from our perspective and for mums. I mean, it obviously shows that it was the right time because she'd always said that she didn't want to go in a home and stuff. So for her to accept it as she has, I think we've got it right. And that's pretty good. But it does mean, unfortunately, um, that we're going to have to sell the house, I think, to pay for the care. There's lots of things I'd like to go into on that, but I won't. Um, so that means all the stuff that I keep at Mum's in the garage is coming back to the mooring. So we have got a few more plans, some more storage and a mushroom farm. But I'll talk about those later on down the line. So yeah, we can fit five bikes in here. I can fit four hanging up. Let's just show you one hanging up. <coughs> uh, 
haven't, haven't quite got it nailed down yet, but <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I just want to say a huge thank you to Rob, who lives five boats that away, who um, basically built this for me. I um, I did the painting and held things up, held things in place, cut back foliage, did all the other stuff. But Rob actually built this with um, some stuff he had at his yard. So cannot thank you enough, Rob. Really do appreciate it. It's such a good build, so solid. It's perfect. Um, and like I say, you can fit five bikes in here. To actually have a bike shed, it's pretty, it's pretty damn cool. To own a narrowboat and have a bike shed. I'm a happy boy. But the plan is, right, keep on track here. Let me just show you our studio. So those of you that might not have seen, we built ourselves an art studio last year. We built ourselves an art studio last year. And this is the current state of it. So there is some art stuff in here. You know, we got we got canvases. Um, there are paints in there. You know, there's a few very there's a few things. That's, that's paints. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So the plan is um, we're going to use the bike storage because obviously selling Mum's house is going to be quite a long drawn out process. I imagine. Not sure. Um, to house the shit out of here and then proper make this the studio at which point hopefully we'll be in a position where we can then build something else for more proper storage so all the bits you know like tins of paint and stuff but yeah even with a mooring storage and space is always an issue with a narrowboat so I hope you've enjoyed spending some time with us today. Um, just thought you'd show you what typically we do in a day. Projects, pottering around. Um, if you've got any questions, because there's quite a lot of new subscribers, which is lovely. Very pleased to meet you all. Welcome aboard. Um, if you've got any questions at all about the mooring or the narrow or art studio, whatever, um, just put them in the comments and we will reply. So yeah, that's that's about it for this week. Um, thanks for coming aboard. Lovely to see you all. Hope you're all okay. Hope you survived the storms. And we'll see you on the other side. We'll see you next week. Take care. And love yourself. You know when you're trying to get stuff done and this is all you end up doing?